If you love using gift bags for more than gift bags, then this video is for you. Let's jump in and check out these DIYs. We're going to start out using this Dollar Tree gift bag and we're just going to cut down the middle. So I'm cutting off the front part of the gift bag. You can also cut down the sides of the gift bag and then down the middle of the bottom of the gift bag and then lay it out. It just kind of depends on how much space you need for the project that you're doing. I'm gonna take these little wooden blocks that kind of look like houses. I got these at Hobby Lobby several years ago on a clearance sale. I think I paid like 89 cents, I think it might say there for these. So definitely make sure you hit those Hobby Lobby clearance, 90% clearance sales, because you can get a lot of wood things that you can repurpose. So once I have all the shapes cut out of my gift bag, I'm just gonna use this uh, glue stick to adhere mine. Now, I know someone's gonna come for me in the comments saying that's not gonna stick. I, I'm okay with using a glue stick for this. If you feel like you want a more permanent hold, you can definitely use hot glue or Mod Podge and uh, that'll give you a more permanent hold, I guess. I never have a problem with the glue stick. It is paper, so um, I think it works just fine, but if you're not feeling comfortable with that, definitely use what you feel comfortable with. So once I get these glued to the front, I'm just gonna take my sanding block from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna sand off the sides and I'm just gonna get any excess pieces that are there. Now you can use an actual sander if you're comfortable with that or you can definitely just use sandpaper. Um, I find that I like the sanding block from the Dollar Tree the best. So once I get all of the papers off of the edges, I'm gonna use these greenery picks that I got from the Dollar Tree and these are last year's um, supplies but they should be coming out with their Christmas supplies anytime now. All I'm gonna do is shape my greenery uh, picks into different letters and we're gonna spell out joy here. Then I'm gonna use some hot glue and I'm just going to adhere my greenery pick to the front of each of these little houses with some hot glue. I really like how this turned out. I've never made any letters with these greenery pieces, but I really liked this and I thought, how fun. I think you could really spell out, you know, several different types of words with these and you get several of the stems in the pack from Dollar Tree. So this would be a really inexpensive craft if you were gonna spell out big words. Once I have them all glued to the front, then we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of ribbon to the middle for our O. We're gonna make the O look like a wreath, so we're just gonna tie a quick awareness bow and I'm just gonna hot glue the pieces together up there so I don't even tie the middle piece just using hot glue. Once I get that there, I'm gonna add a little bead to the front just to give it a little bit extra. And then here it is. Let me know what you guys think about this one. I thought it turned out pretty adorable. Project, we're going to start out with this really cute snowman bag and then we're going to use these three planter sticks. If you didn't know this, Dollar Tree actually does have a clearance section every once in a while. They'll put a whole bunch of like past seasonal things in a cart up at the front and I got these in one of those carts for 50 cents each. So then we're going to use this really cute snowman bag. This is just a repurposed bag, but any gift bag will do. I just thought the snowman was super adorable. I believe he did actually come from the Dollar Tree. So after we uh, trace our circles onto the bag, we just cut out our circles and we're going to have three circles of our snowman. So I just want you guys to trust the process here. It turns out looking a little ugly at the beginning, but it's a really cute project in the end. So we're gonna take these sticks and we're just going to glue them on to each other's stick. So we start out with the first one. Using hot glue, we're gonna glue the circle onto the stick of the first one. And then using hot glue again, we'll glue the third stick onto the second stick's stake. <laughs> That's a lot of words. Anyway, you can see in the video what we're doing here. So we're gonna hot glue these together. You wanna make sure that they are really on their well. Then we're gonna use our glue stick again, and we're gonna glue our bag to the front here, just using a heavy amount of of glue. We're going to glue each of the pieces that we cut out, each circle that we cut out, creating the structure of a snowman. So we're going to start out with his head and then we're going to move on to the body piece and then I cut out a bottom part of the snowman and we're going to adhere him to the bottom part 
of our piece. So you're just going to glue these on and then we're ready to start the next part process. So after we get that all glued on, you can see here like parts of the snowman kind of overlap into the pieces and I didn't mind the first two pieces, but the bottom piece has a little bit of gingerbread and a little bit of the scarf that's in the bag down in the bottom. So instead, we're going to go ahead and add some ribbons to each of the pieces and I kind of think this looks really cute because then you don't see the pieces where they... Um, glued together. So we're just going to use a ribbon of your choice and glue that there and then we're going to add some greenery. These were just some picks I had on hand. They all I believe came from the Dollar Tree. We're just going to add some greenery to each part of the ribbon and then we're going to add a little bit of um, berries there as well and then that is it for this project i love this guy he's super adorable favorite project of the day let me know what you guys think about this one in the clearance section of Walmart the other day and they had one of these tags here. Paid $2.50 for this tag um, but I thought it would be really cute with this gift bag. Now my only kind of sad part about this was I wish I had two because this turns out really adorable but it would definitely be a little cuter if there were two of them. I thought that maybe I had a Dollar Tree sign that was that same size but I didn't. So we're going to take the front of this gift bag and I'm just going to kind of crease it in the back like so I can see um, where it lays there because I want the gingerbread house to be on our tag. So after I do that, I'm just going to bring the tag back to the white piece. I'm going to trace it and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Then we're going to go ahead and you want to trace the circle part of the tag as well because you're going to want to cut out that circle part too. So once we have the circle parts cut out and the tag part cut out, we're ready to adhere ours. Using our glue stick again, we're just gonna go ahead and apply a generous amount of glue onto our wood piece and then we're going to put our gingerbread um, gift bag on top of that. This is a really easy project. Using our uh, sanding block, we're gonna go over the edges again just to get any of the excess pieces off. And then you're gonna wanna use kind of a heavy hand here because the gift bags are pretty thick and so it takes a little bit of elbow grease to get the pieces off, but it definitely gives you a smooth seam. So once we've done that, we're gonna add some ribbon up here to the top of our little tag. And I'm just gonna tie it in a knot. I don't even tie it to the piece of the gingerbread um, tag. I just loop it through there, tie it up at the top, and that is it. I think this would be a really cute Christmas ornament or a tag that you could hang outside as a sign or just something that you kept inside um, on a easel up on a shelf. But let me know what you guys think about this one. I really love the gingerbread look. For this project we're going to start out using a gift box and I got this gift box in like a three set at Dollar Tree. So we're going to use these wooden cutout of these mittens. I got these at the DI several years ago up in Salt Lake and I've just had them in my stash and I finally decided to use them for this project and they turn out really adorable. So all we're going to do is cut out um, the pieces that we traced onto our box and the I didn't show you guys the front of the box but the front of the box is like a woodland scene so we're going with like snowy trees on the front here. But all we're going to do is cut these out and then once we have them cut out then we're going to go ahead and use our glue stick again and we're going to glue them to the front. Now this gift box is super super thick so when you go ahead and use your sanding block it took a little extra time just to get those 
extra heavy duty pieces off, um, but you can still use your sanding block to go around and get any of the excess edges. So once we've done that, we're going to overlap our two wooden pieces and we're going to use some hot glue up at the top and then we're just going to adhere those together. And then I kind of wanted these to look like they were hanging like as a group and I didn't put the holes back in there so I just decided to go ahead and use a pretty thick rope ribbon and we're just going to tie it around the two pieces that we hot glued together. We're going to make a knot and then we're going to tie it again at the top in a knot as well so it can be a hanger. I think this is pretty adorable and would make a really cute Christmas tree ornament. So once we have our rope, we're going to go ahead and um, add some greenery to this after we've done our two pieces together. And so this greenery came from the Dollar Tree. We're just going to add, it was like one full pick. We're going to cut it apart, add the pieces together, and then I had these berries on hand. I thought it'd be really cute if we just put the berries down below our little knot. And I really love the simplicity of this one, and I love that we just used a gift box here to create a really cute cute Christmas tree ornament. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I'm so happy to have you guys here. If you want to keep on crafting with me, check out these videos next. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video. Bye friends.